Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Let me say it again. Like, subscribe and share because that's the only way to let that channel grow. In August, the channel is, um, well, the reading part of the channel is six years old. And we only have 335 subscribers because I don't see myself as a content creator. I just record videos normally monthly so therefore the algorithm can't quite find me so in order to make that channel work you really 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 ought to subscribe and leave a comment every now and then right um so this is a, just uh, an appeal to you to to um, keep that alive um to like subscribe and share um yeah so that's what we do here and what we do here this month uh, August 2023 for the sign of Virgo is to first remind you that we're moving into your sign on the 23rd if I'm not mistaken so by the end of the month you are in your strongest energy because we're moving into your sign which is really really important Virgo right so that's what we do here what we'll do here as well is we will separate the the, the reading into sections so it is easier to understand we will look at the overall energy for the sign of Virgo First, before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to happen, whether there's love coming in, whatever messages the guides will have in that section. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023. Now, ah, before we do all this, let me uh, introduce to you to my guest this month. This is my friend Claire. Hello. She runs the Knotted Tree Therapies uh, Holistic Therapy Center in Telford. And I keep and I leave the um, contact information in the description box below. And speaking of the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford, in November of this year, I will be holding a two-day shamanic workshop at that space. £140 for two full days. You want to, want to be a part of it? Go to the Knotted Tree, look it up, see how you can book all these things. Um, it's going to be awesome. We would, lo would love to have you there. In any case, with no further ado, let's look at the overall energy for the month of August 2023 for the sign of Virgo. Hello. Okay, so for Virgo, for the overall energy, we're looking at trust, change and take a breath. Okay, so um, change, it, change is afoot, basically. There needs to be changes being made uh, within this month. Um, means the choice whether you make the changes or not um uh, so but it's trusting your gut you know take a breath go at the beginner's mind so what comes to mind first you know but taking that step back breath and really sit with it what is it that needs changing within your life right now within the month of august um and how can we make those changes um and uh, yeah very much trust trust once you've done your breath work do your connection and trust that things are going to work the way that they should do for you thank you so much and we have done this here so many times on this channel every now and then i say let's take a deep breath the easiest way i always find is to not use the air in the lungs so there's a really really easy um really easy to learn uh, um, breath work let's do this together now so what you do is you breathe in from the solar plexus to the throat like this right you just breathe in then you hold your breath which tells your brain i'm fucking dying here <laughs> and it makes you a bit more vulnerable and when you are a bit more vulnerable your senses are heightened so how this works is let me show this to you before we do this together so you breathe in from the solar plexus to the throat like this and you hold your breath until your hands are here. So you go and then you make a wheel and exhale with a f sound because when you f you use the air in the abdomen, not in the lungs. So if you ever look for how do I do the bloody breathing work, number one, do it slowly, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you go if you can't do the wheel because you're on a bloody train or something, don't do the wheel, I get that. But this, is, this helps you with making a circle. In a circle, nobody's in front and life is cyclical. So it is another energy that, that reminds you of, yes, 
you know, I've been everywhere, I've seen everything, I've been through everything, I will get through it again. So there's a big energy here. But the easiest way is to just deeply breathe in from the solar plexus to the throat. It literally just lowers your heart rate. And it can be really, really powerful. I have been doing this breathing work for decades and I'm using this especially with people who have... Um, who are claustrophobic, who are afraid of dogs. I used to take people to dog parks. Obviously, they pay me up front. <laughs> but I would <laughs> take them there and uh, they would be afraid of dogs. And so the last thing on their mind is to confront that. And But when you start breathing that way and you go and, and be in a calmer place, the animal then doesn't go like, oh, why are you so weird? Right? So there's a, there, this is a really powerful thing to do. So thanks for that. And now let's look at your emotional core. Well, it's interesting here. We're in the months of... Uh, Oh, well, we're moving into the energy of Virgo. And the first card that fell out, out of the two, and it fell out, <laughs> was the Virgo card, which is you. All the guides are saying is, number one, and they, I mean, I'm getting this strongly. This is not about being yourself, but learning to be yourself. Virgo is the sign of the maiden. By default, Virgo is one of those signs that doesn't really break under stress. The problem is because you're not understanding exhaustion well, um, you will be the person that attracts needy people because of it. And when you learn to be yourself, you learn to only be of service, hence the term of the maiden, um, when it is warranted. So prioritize yourself. It's the first thing you ought to be doing this month is prioritizing who you are, which allows you to digest whatever happened to you as a being when it comes to your love life because that's what we're talking about here what i don't get for virgo in august mainly because we're moving into your sign anyway so you don't need to look at healing it'll come this is more about um looking at your life energy that will be highlighted towards the end of the month as we're moving into your sign and um recover from things that are that haven't worked, if that makes sense. So this is about reflecting, being more reflective and prioritizing yourself. The outgoing energy here is Mercury. Now Mercury is one of those weird planets uh, <laughs> that is retrograde up to three times a year, affects everybody. And Mercury can only ever be in your own sign or in an adjacent one, and that makes a big difference. So this is not about, at this point in time, to look at your birth chart and figure out where it is, but understand that Mercury runs before it can walk. And when it comes to your love life and manifesting relationships and or make relationship work, don't run before you can walk. Don't be a person that says, I really want this to work. I get that. Not a bad thing to wanting things to work, but you can't rush anything. This is about digesting what is it I want out of a relationship? What am I putting into relationships? So there is reflective energy. And then communicate, which is Mercury is the planet of communication. Um, and communicate. Really, really important. Allow yourself to communicate clearly. And in the depiction here, you have the snake around the cane. When you go to the pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane. So it's about health. Um, and you have the number 20. We're only using the zero, so we know that it is not two. So, we, so the number gets bigger. But two is the number of couples, if that makes sense, right? Then the Virgo card, technically speaking, perfectly right, is six. You are the six signs governed by the sixth house. Point being is that six is also the number of an element that we no longer use in astrology, which is the element of ether. Can't pronounce it, E-T-H-E-R, ether. Ether is known as the element of blue. Therefore, what you're trying to do, being highlighted as the number six this month, what you're trying to do in relationships is, or, or what you're doing, what you are doing in relationships a lot, which is a Virgo trait, by the way, is to paint a nicer picture. You want this to continue. You want to hold on to it. And the question then becomes, is it working? And what is highlighted here by having the snake around the cane is you will feel it health-wise, whether or not a relationship is working for you. So how affected are you? Are you drained or are you elevated and elated in a relationship? So look at your body. The body houses the soul. How do you truly feel? 
when you're in a relationship and then manifest a relationship where you can be your awesome self, right? So that's what we got for um, the sign of Virgo for the month of August, which becomes your month at the end of the month, if that makes sense. So you're going from strength to strength this month. Now remember that we have two super moons in August, uh, which means that August is the month where anybody, everybody, every sign will be massively affected emotionally. I did record a video that covers these two super moons, tells you when they are the strongest, what energies you can um, harness to make this work for you. So this video is on the same channel that you're watching. Please like, subscribe and share and bloody watch it. Right? <laughs> so now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023 for the sign of Virgo. Okay, um, it's quite mad that I got the snake through as well. Yeah, um, makes sense. Yeah, so um, again, it's about shedding old skin. I feel there's going to be some memories or some old people pop up um, for you uh, in that month, um, but they're going to be popping up for you to do a release. So, uh, so it's looking at what old skin do you need to shed? What old memories that are not serving you anymore? Get rid. And the more you stand in your own power, so in your heart and in your power, uh, the more you'll see what it is that needs to go. And as you're releasing that, don't even I feel that you don't even have to do a huge amount of work here to be able to release that. It's almost like, just going to show you, just acknowledge it, accept it, release it. Yeah, uh, very much in that way. Um, and seeing beyond those situations um, or experiences, um, and as soon as you've done that, the miracles are starting to show. Things will start coming up for you um, on uh, what's next for you. So, so quite a big one. Harness your power and release the old stuff you do not need anymore. Yes, thank you so much. And remember, you are going, or we are going, time-wise, into your sign. For a sign to be in the sign, <laughs> in your own sign, is the strongest energy you can have. Therefore, we are moving on the 23rd of August, if I'm not mistaken, into your sign of Virgo. So you're going into your strengths. Really, really important to understand that. So you are in your birth sign this very month. Therefore, anything and everything you do is much stronger. So you have a lot of extra power that you can access and harness this month just by being Virgo. And remember, being Virgo and learning to be Virgo was one of the messages that came up here for you. Should this have sounded tedious and a tad difficult? Life tends to be difficult because this planet is a school and we came, we came here to learn. But because you are moving into, or we are moving into your sign, you will notice that August by default is uh, a month where you will feel way more empowered than in any other months of the entire year. So this is your month. So you don't have to expect dread, if that makes sense. Stand in right? your power. Stand in your power <laughs> because you're bloody awesome. Anyway, that's all we got for you. Please like, subscribe and share. And we we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.